Welcome back to Elsinore. Last episode, we spent a lot of time, for the first time, outside of town. In the... Wait, what? why does it show my icon is here? I'm here, at the flinty and steel, outside of town in the Castle Town streets. Why the hell's my icon there? Oh, okay. I just needed to flip and then flip back. So right now, there's literally nothing on our timeline for the future. Quince puts on the plate that Hamlet designed. We don't care about that. Rosencrantz, Gildens turn around and Aaron in the woods. Don't care about that. And then nothing in the future. Yeah. So there's nowhere in particular that I need to be right now. It's about 6 p.m. on Friday. So I'm just going to continue to focus on spending time at the Flinty and Steel with Othello. Because everybody from the castle seems to come in here all the time. And talk about really interesting things that I never knew from just being inside the castle. So, gonna stay here. It's actually a, a quest as well. Or a lead, if you want to call it that. The barkeep in me. I'd like to observe what his day-to-day -day life might be like. So, gonna follow up with that. Also want to make sure I get to the wall around midnight so that I can hopefully speak with the ghost once again. Try to get on Brit's good side. I don't remember where I'm at on that, to be honest. I don't know if I'm just waiting for something to happen. Yeah, so let's just pass time and see if anything happens here. Ooh, hello. Ah, the good lady Irma. So glad you could join us. <laughs> Shut up, you sly-tongued fool. Let's drink. A fellow? You needn't suffer her to speak to you like that. Uh, <laughs> Irma's got a spine of iron. She can talk to me any way she pleases. Now then... What shall we play this evening? Uh-oh, brigands. This is going to be a thing, isn't it? Time's up, old fool. You can't shirk payment forever. Hold on. Old fool. Is Othello old? They don't... They don't really look old to me. They look like maybe 30s. Maybe young to mid-thirties. Friends, please stay here. Are you going to whoop their ass? What are you going to do, Othello? Gentlemen. I see that reason has failed your master once more. For the last time, my word is good, but so long as my coin goes to the king, I have nothing to pay with. What more can I offer you? Uh, Othello. Wow, they just outright die. <gasps> Our master sends his final word. If you've truly nothing, we'll take blood. Othello's busy right now. Okay, so they're not dead then? Yet? Aimed for the heart, got him in the shoulder. Half wits. Quickly, I must bandage it. You, fetch me cloth. Ah. Oh. Yes. I found some behind the bar. Hmm. Quiet. Hold him still. do so despise blood. Then look away and let me work. This is the kind of thing you don't learn in that university of yours. There. That should do it. He's lucky only his arm was pierced. Othello becomes upset but will recover overnight. My thanks. You're too kind. Can't believe they got me so easily. <laughs> I'm alright, friends. I feel better even as we speak. Fool. Don't move that arm. It's my sword arm. Am I not to defend myself against thugs? If you don't let it heal, you won't be alive to ask yourself such introspective questions. 
Othello. It's maybe time to consider alternative options. Uh, hiding, for example. A thoroughly tried and true strategy, if not the most noble. You could go anywhere. Why, you could visit my hometown of Venice. No. I'm not leaving. That's not up for discussion. <laughs> Suit yourself. You're more stubborn than even I. Irma, I think it's high time we retired for the evening. Let's leave Othello to lick his wounds. Barkeep in trouble. So it sounds like if we don't do something, they're probably going to die, right? Because the thugs are going to continue to come back. Othello now can't effectively defend themselves because their arm, their sword arm, is hurt. Ah, oh, right, I can't talk to them on the, uh, when they're upset, right? Unusually upset, don't think you'd listen to anything I could say right now. Right, so I probably can't do anything more here. Tonight. Unless other people come around? I mean, maybe. Oh, ooh, ooh, it's around midnight. I should get to the wall. I think it happens around like three o'clock. Yeah, here we go. By the by, I've noticed you are free of your assassin, are you not? You have won this battle. But not the war. Not so long as I'm still stuck in this world. No, not the war. Quince told me something odd when I first had Brit arrested. He said he had adjusted the state of the world so that it would never happen again. Can he really do that? Indeed, it appears he has already done so. See for yourself if he speaks true. Though by what power he does these things, I know not. So we haven't spoken to the ghost in quite a long time, but I don't remember what we said to them before. Oh, okay, I just asked like one question and then the ghost disappeared. And it was a question that I had already asked before. Huh. Alright then. Well, I guess I'm going back to the flinty and steel. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I think Lady Brit is going to the docks. I need to eavesdrop on that. Oh, feel again. Uh, hi? I didn't, I guess I just passed through here. How may I assist you? Quince? You may not. Are they late for a look at the library, isn't it? I might say, I might say the same to you. I didn't come here to read a book. Ah. I always seem to return to my favorite tale. It's called The Great Gatsby. Have you read it? Hmm. Afraid not. What is a Gatsby? A tragedy from a faraway place. Do you know what makes a tragedy excellent? It's in the construction of the hero, you see. One must feel such a hero is rational, relatable, and sane, doing all in their power to succeed against the odds before them. However, there must also be some insurmountable difficulty in the hero's circumstances. Some aspect of themselves or the people around them must prevent them from achieving happiness and success. This is called the tragic flaw. The audience feels their suffering as a form of deeply emotional release. This is called catharsis. And no matter how rational that hero might be, they simply can't win. And not without divine intervention, at least. I see. I could use some of that. Divine intervention, I mean. <sighs> so it would seem. As I said before, my dear, my greatest desire is to nudge you along the path to enlightenment. 
But make no mistake, one must be led, not moved there post haste. What? Who or what are you really, Quince? Mm, that's rather a sad tale of its own. Good night, gentle Ophelia. I've many a room to haunt before the evening is over, I think. Okay, so that actually updated our quest. Oh, our father's dead. Were they dead before? It's been a bit since I played, so I kind of forgot exactly what I was planning to do with some things. Anyway, I don't think it really matters. The Playmaster. I happened upon Quince in the gallery where he and I exchanged a few words. He spoke to me about tragedy and referenced a tale I'd never heard about before. I don't know what to make of him. Is he teasing me or trying to help me? Or both? Yeah, sorry, if the reference to the Great Gatsby is supposed to be a hint at something, well, bad news. I've never read The Great Gatsby or seen any any adaptation of it at all. So, yeah, I don't know anything about it. Anyway, to Lady Brit. Oh, what? oh, you're already done! You quick fucker! Is there anything to talk about with you? Mysterious Playmaster. Nah. Hmm. Okay, the Flintine Seal then. Oh, what's this? My lady. Ophelia? Yes. I'm sorry, Ophelia. Oh, right, they're just delivering the news about Polonius. Your father is dead. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's fine. Oh, they just gave me the key. Uh, I'm almost certain there's not going to be anything in the chest, though. Let's not listen to the announcement. I mean, I guess I could go check the chest right now. Sure. Empty, nothing but ashes. Yep. Let's talk with Othello. There's only one thing we can say. Talking about Horatio and Hamlet. We've already done that, I think? I thought we could talk about their problems, but no. <laughs> when, you when you tend the bar, you hear things. Horatio's made mention of a thing or two which gave me pause. There are feelings there he hasn't surfaced. Hmm. I think I might be able to help him with that. Wait, is this new? Oh. The poor man's had quite a rough life. Might do him some good to have a friend step in on his behalf. No, that wasn't a thing? Nothing popped up. Right. Let's continue to wait. What's happening at the docks? Could it be Lady Brit? If it's not Lady Brit, who would it be? Let's go. Oh. Hamlet's upset. What? What is this? It's time we bid goodbye to Denmark once and for all. This will be good for you, Hamlet. Yeah! It'll be just like the old days again. We'll be running through London, in and out of trouble. All the diplomatic immunity, none of the downsides. <laughs> <laughs> when you say it like that, it sounds almost like this isn't a banishment. Oh, but let us all make no mistake. My uncle is sending this monster where I cannot cause further harm. Farewell. May your journey be swift and uneventful, and may you be delivered quickly to England's arms. 
I remember right, didn't King Claudius plan to kill Hamlet at some point in route to wherever they're going, uh, to England? And I think they end up dying, right? Or at least the ladies end up dying. Unless I get on the boat, too. Hmm. Terribly poetic of you. Ophelia. Ah, you're here, Ophelia. I'm now away to England, perhaps never to return. I hesitate to even ask if you'll think of me, if you'll miss me. That's an unfair question, isn't it? <sighs> I suppose it is. For whatever little it's worth, I'm sorry about all that happened with your father. I truly am. Oh, right. They just killed our father in this timeline. Yeah. Hmm. To England! Farewell for now, Hamlet. For now, perhaps forever. <sighs> Am I so dismal? This is our chance to embark on a new adventure. Yes, a new life, a new journey in England. Let's be off. I sense a storm coming on. Okay, so can I go with him? The way lies eastward out into the sound. Uh huh. I think in this case I couldn't go. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I can't go out here. I can't click on the boat and get into it or anything. Hmm. Back to the to the bar, tavern. Wah. Oh god, why did I get stuck? Who dat? Oh, Laertes. You must be that one they call Othello. So it would seem. And you must be the one they call Lord Laertes. <sighs> Lord Laertes. It always was a funny title. I suppose I'm now a duke, aren't I? Yes. Unfortunate news about your father, my lord. Father. He was a good man. The best sort of man. A stalwart advisor. And a wonderful father. What sad luck that our ship was delayed in its leave of harbor. I was presented with a letter the moment I stepped ashore here. I still don't know how he died. The letter didn't mention more than his murder, though I have my suspicions. A, a black-hearted rumor floats around town, my lord. I desire you to hear it from a kind voice first. Your sister, perhaps. Hmm. You and I are brothers of a kind. What is this vile rumor? My lord. Uh, the people whisper he was murdered, my lord, by the king's hand. I see. Somehow I can't find it in me to be surprised. Here I assume that bastard Hamlet would have done the deed. But the king is his blood, and murderers tend to generate more of their kind. I suppose woes spring forth other woes wherever they might land. And I sense more are soon to follow. Although I don't know you well, I wish you fortune in whatever you may find when you make your return. And I welcome it. I've really no idea what's happening. I suppose I'll soon find out. Laertes no longer wants to destroy Hamlet. Laertes now wants to destroy King Claudius. Laertes no longer believes that Hamlet killed Polonius. Interesting. So this rumor is... I mean, it's obviously untrue. Hamlet is the one who killed Polonius. But if we're here when this happens, then Laertes believes it was Claudius. That could be important to make Laertes believe that. Because I think when they believed it was Hamlet that killed their father and we told him about it, then Laertes ends up killing Hamlet.
<sighs> Look at me. On half a day back from France and all I can think about is murder. The longer I must linger among awful men, the closer I grow to them. Well, fine then. Let it suit my bloody purpose. It's time. I should have been king. The post was always rightfully mine. Hamlet's mad. The people always hated Claudius. Who better than myself to rule? Someone must pay. Time to take what belongs to me. Ophelia. That was a much more extreme reaction than I was expecting. What? Oughtn't you to be in Paris by now? I was at Port and Alborg when I heard the news. About everything happening back here, that is. The situation in Elsinore has deteriorated quickly. Are you alright? No one's harmed you. I'm safe, for now. There's work to be done, and I intend to act swiftly. You know where to find me if you need me. That is to say, here, by the fire. I'm not ready to return to Elsinore just yet. They're shattered, so there's no speaking with them. Anything more to speak with you? No, literally nothing. So I think what I've learned from this encounter here between Othello and Laertes is basically if we don't tell Laertes that Hamlet is the one who killed Polonius, then they hear the rumor from Othello and think that Claudius killed Polonius. So, so far, there's only two options, like two avenues we found that Laertes can go, and both of them result in them murdering somebody and just bad things happening. Back to waiting. Ooh, something's about to happen here. I should get to the wall soon as well, but... Yeah, something's about to happen. It's not the brigands again, is it? Oh, Lady Brit. Ophelia! What are you doing out here? I was taking an evening stroll. What about yourself? Well, I was having a nice personal break from my mountain of courtly duties. Until you came along. Stop following me. Oh. Strange. So, that didn't re like, we were supposed to meet them in the Castle Town streets or the bar or something like that in one of the other timelines, but then that never happened because I was never able to actually leave. Because I couldn't deal with the whole guard stopping me from leaving thing. I think what just happened is I failed to get their trust in this timeline. I'm not sure what I missed exactly. I tried to get the- I remember I tried to get the artist kit together and I got all the things for it and I tried to talk to Horatio about it. I don't remember what happened from there. Uh, either way, that's gonna have to wait for another timeline, isn't it? Ah, right. The wall. I'm too late, aren't I? Ah. <sighs> No, not much is happening, and it's already Sunday, the last day. I think this is a timeline where I'm not going to accomplish that bunch. I don't know. I did quite a bit, to be honest. Ah. I didn't really accomplish anything towards the end, but... Just being able to make it outside the town and meeting Othello and Bernardo. Yeah, I did quite a bit. Ophelia, convenient to run into you. Where are you off to? Hamlet's returned, against all odds. He sent word to me to meet him. He did ask for you, too. Though I wasn't certain I'd find you, or that you'd want to see him even if I did. He's not in England? Something's gone horribly wrong, though I know not what. Heed Hamlet's request. Yeah, sure. Greetings. For better or for worse, I've returned. 
Of course, I trust things have fared excellently in my absence. It's certainly been quiet, if nothing else. A little too still. <laughs> Good. Things are about to awaken once more. My dear uncle wants me murdered, just as he did my father. <gasps> I beg your pardon? Hmm. I uncovered his treachery nearly the moment we set sail. I had a sneaking feeling something was amiss. He sent a note along with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to the Queen of England, ordering her to hang me upon arrival. For what reason? <laughs> In the interest of betterment of our two nations' friendship, or some sort of rubbish of that nature. I must believe Rosencrantz and Guildenstern intended to bear this letter to England and carry out these orders at my uncle's behest. Wait, is this what ends up with the ladies being killed? Because Hamlet thinks that the ladies were going to deliver that letter to the Queen and therefore basically murder Hamlet? Because there's no way they would have done that, right? I thought them my friends. The more the fool am I. <sighs> Nevertheless, they're all outhanded. I changed the letter to order them killed instead. Hmm. But how? Certainly it bore the King's seal. I still have my father's signet ring. It was simple. Alarmingly so. Then we were besieged by pirates just outside the Sound, and they took me as their hostage. What? Surely you cannot be serious. Yes. Extraordinarily serious, Horatio. Once they learned my identity, I promised to send them a good fortune in safe harbor if they deposited me here, and so they have. So Rosie and Gil are dead? If not now, then when they reach England, they'll perish then, just as they wanted for me. Horatio. With all that's happening, who doesn't want me dead? Who can I trust? <sighs> me, your lordship. Of that I have no doubt, and Ophelia has made her hatred towards me quite clear. In that way, she's safe as well. Better a former paramour turned sour than one whose alignment is ambiguous. That's why I summoned you both, to make you aware that my return to Denmark is one great intent. Now then. In my heart, there's been a kind of fighting that won't let me sleep. I shall no longer hesitate in bringing down my uncle. He that killed my king and whored my mother, popping between the election and my hopes. I cannot let this canker of our nature come to further evil. Hamlet. You know, Laertes has a standing challenge to duel you. I believe the king is behind it somehow. Of course. And of course I cannot refuse, as they both well know. It is intended to murder me, not to out any honor of mine. Divinity shapes our ends. So be it, friends. We'll duel. Learned more about a journey at sea. Is that a lead? It is. He believes there was a plot against his life right from the voyage's start. If I speak to the king about this, maybe I can uncover the truth of the matter. Is that a good idea? Might the king just say, you know too much? Stab. I don't know, but... Alright. Ooh, what's happening in Castletown streets? Hmm. Yeah, let's go there. Then I'll try to speak with the king. Hmm. Oh, are these the Fort and Brussels? Oh, yes, they are the Fort and Brussels soldiers. In the name of Norway, submit. If you flee, you'll be killed. It's time. Begin the siege. Well, shit. How cute. 
curious. And what have we here? Who are you dressed in fine clothing? Ah, dark little noblewoman. I've heard of you. Lord Polonius's daughter. Headed up to the castle to tell the king about our siege, it would seem. My lady, the old ways are over. Your family means nothing now. The reign of Norway begins today. Surrender. Submit to me and there is no need for useless bloodshed. I do not wish your life. No. If you're waiting for fear or deference, I'll show you neither. You're attacking my home and my family. If you so eschew violence, what's all this? Uh. I did not come here for debate. I came to take action against a tyrant. If you defend him, so be it. Men, keep her in our custody. Indefinitely. The invasion marches onward. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. The beginning of a new loop. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do this loop. Figure that out next time, but... We do have a couple new quests that we got during the last loop. We have the whole barkeep and me thing and a journey at sea.